first. Mark's inside 50. This just shows you that they would rather hit a target than, you know, throw it on the boot and get the small forwards to get the ground ball. So not so much a bad thing. It just shows you how their game style going forward. They would rather hit a target. And this is really impressive for them because they don't have a great key mark or key forward marker. You know, they don't have a massive bodied, you know, sort of Trav Cloak player who they used to have. They don't have that player anymore. So that's a very important uh, thing to note that that game style works for them, uh, which makes sense. Fly McCree knows what he has at his disposal and that's why he's a great coach. Shots on goal. This is where things get quite interesting. Uh, this is really low for Collingwood. Uh, you know, the AFL average is 25.2. They are basically on the AFL average, point, uh, point 0.1 away from AFL average. You know, they are four shots on goal away from Adelaide and you know, glaringly, Carlton are even lower than AFL average, but most teams, Adelaide, Port Adelaide, Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, GWS, a lot of those good teams are towards the top. And I was quite surprised, it's not the worst, but it must mean that they are phenomenal at converting. And later on this video, we'll talk about expected goals, expected shots, yappy, 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 yada, yada, yada. Watch out for that. But it is interesting to note that they are a very clinical team, or well, you would assume they are, given that they don't have that many shots. Accuracy. Now we get interesting because they are the most accurate team by quite some stretch. Next to them is North Melbourne, and they are 1.3 away from North Melbourne. 1.3 is the biggest jump between any of these teams of any of these stats. Like the jump between 5.25 to 5.12 is far bigger than any of the others, right? Now the AFL average is 48, so they are 4.5 better than AFL average. If you're a fan of Carlton, Port Adelaide, you'll be thinking that's actually not that bad because that's something to improve on. But as a Collingwood fan, you might be a little bit concerned about this because that might naturally drop down a little bit in the future. That accuracy is so good. Is that sustainable? That can also mean that they are just getting really good shots at goal. They're not in the corners, they're quite central. So it has to do with the midfield delivery, the leading patterns and the style of play. So it's not just about how good they are at kicking, right? But it is worth to note that this is a big reason why Collingwood did win the flag is they are so accurate. And it's also a big reason why West Coast are terrible because they're so inaccurate. Now we go to goals per inside 50. Another important stat, how clinical are you per inside 50? Not the most important stat, but it does help. It means you don't have to keep going inside 50 and rebound, inside 50, rebound. They're really good. They're effectively the top 0.01, 0.1, sorry, off Adelaide who are at the top. They are head and shoulders above the AFL average. Once again, interestingly, teams like Carlton are really low down, Melbourne as well. But Collingwood, really good at converting, and that's something that